Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Conscious Culinary Podcast. I'm your host, wellness chef, Tracy Clark, and this show is dedicated to raising awareness about the effects our food choices have on ourselves, our family, our communities, and the planet. So what are we diving in today? Well, it is the month of February. So of course, we're just going to go along with the theme and talk about love. And in the words of the late Whitney Houston, we're going to talk about the greatest love of all, self-love, right? At the end of the day, if we can't love ourselves, we truly can't allow other people to love us. So this is where we want to begin, self-love. And I'm here with three other ladies. They're going to help me talk about the subject because we are actually collaborating. We all have our own business and we are all geared towards trying to help people live their best lives in some way. And we came together and we put together this amazing program for the spring. We're going to tell you all about it. And I'm going to introduce you to these lovely ladies and they are going to tell you a little bit more about themselves. So we've got a great show. We're going to go over self-love and what we all do individually in our lives. Also, we're going to share um, some tips about what our area of expertise says about self-care. And finally, we're going to tell you all about our Ayurveda Spring Cleanse Retreat that we are offering in March. It's going to be really fun, and it's just going to be all about um, connecting with your inner goddess, right? Doesn't that sound fun? So let's get into it. Today, I am joined by Brianne Swenson. Brian, do you have a new last name now? Do you go by a new last name because you got married? I did, and it is Stover. Mm-hmm. Stover, she is here. We have Amanda Malarkey and Jennifer Haycox. They are a mix of all different kinds of holistic care, right? Whether it's yoga, hiking, Reiki, beautiful spa products to use in your home, crystal healing, all of it, you guys. This is the complete package right here. So it's a great group of ladies to have. Um, Let's go around and just get to know these ladies a little bit more. And then we're going to do something really fun because we're starting a new tradition on the podcast. And I'll tell you about that in just a moment. But first of all, ladies, can you just tell everybody a little bit more about yourself? We'll start with Brianne. Hi, thanks, Tracy, so much for having me on today. It's such a pleasure. And I just love seeing your face and being in the presence of these amazing women. Um, I run a breezy journey which is an all-inclusive wellness and conscious living brand. Um, I highly encourage um, women and men, but mostly women to utilize nature um, in their wellness practices and um, offer energy healing um, of all sorts. What about you, Amanda? Tell us a little bit more about you, even though this is like your fourth time on the show. (laughs) Yeah. Hello. Good morning. Amanda Malarkey here. Again, thank you for having me. I'm so blessed to be with all of you today. Um, Well, I am a healer and I am a mother of three amazing little girls, eight, six, and seven months. Oh my goodness. And I have a business called Live Wellness. The Live is L-Y-V, Live Your Vision. So I guide um, mainly women, but I do work with men also into living their highest vision. So I do, I am a wellness coach, life coach to, um, some, and I teach yoga, meditation, mantra, breath work. Um, I lead retreats with you, Tracy and Brianne (laughs) and, um, workshops and series. Um, most of my content is all online right now, which is, um, really exciting, a new platform. And um, I help people get to their living their highest vision. And going into self-love, um, I think, I well, I believe self-love is dating yourself. Self-love is dating yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Because if we don't, when I had my second child, who is now six years old, I began to date myself. I would put it on the calendar. This is mama's time. This is my time to get that hike in, to get that yoga session in, to um, get a divine bath in, whatever it is. But you have to schedule it in or else it doesn't happen. And when I began talking with moms, they are just, they don't, they didn't, a lot of them didn't take care of themselves. How do I find the time or this is my job is to be a mom. Yes, but it is to take care of this vessel, this divine being so that you can go out into the world and be a better mother, wife, 
um, partner, whatever you do, maybe you have a full-time job, whatever it is you do. Um, and that's just what you do, right? I, I could go so into this. Like we are not, we're, we're going to get into it. I'll though. just stop. <laughs> this is going to go in. Okay. I love it. That's why there's so much more to this podcast, right? We're not just talking about this for minutes. We have so much coming your way, right? There's something going on in February. There's something going on in March. So we're going to get to it. But Jennifer, welcome. Please tell everybody about your beautiful products that you have just created, as well as you were just certified in Reiki. Yes, thank you. I am so blessed to be here with everybody. The energy is so wonderful. I'm just like taking it all in um, and loving this in the first thing in the morning. Um, yeah, it's so a little bit about me. I am the founder and owner of DV Wellness Spa. So DV is Sanskrit for goddess, uh, diva for the gods out there. And really what my vision is to take what everybody thinks is not them and bring it to them. So this power is within you and this energy of love and the self-care is in you. And, um, and just really bringing that home and knowing that you can have this and you can live your most beautiful life, starting with how you take care of yourself. Everybody here has that journey and what they do. And so I bring, um, starting with skin, our biggest organ, the largest organ in the body and showing how you can use your own self to bring happiness to yourself. And so that is what I do. And of course, with the Reiki healing um, and all the crystals and all the other practices that come into what is a ritual practice to um, self-love and self-care and how to, I love how Amanda put it, how to date yourself um, and really how to give yourself time and be present in this beautiful life that we have. So that's what, what I bring to uh, bring to the table, bring today and, and just excited to be here with you all. So thank you for the, for the energy and the opportunity. Thanks for being here, ladies. Yes, I love everything you guys touched on. And it's so funny. So Amanda, you say this idea of dating yourself. I remember doing a blog a few years ago and it was all about um, what is, like, what does it mean to work on yourself? Right. And I said, it's like, if ever you have a relationship and you want to make that relationship better, what do you have to do? You have to go out with that person. You have to listen to them. Right. You really have to listen and hear what they say. You have to do things that they like too. Right. They might not like them. You have to indulge in their interests. You have to be vulnerable. Right. You have to be honor vulnerable and you have to be honest. Those are three things that really help build a relationship. And it's the exact three things that we can do with our own relationship with ourself, right? We need to talk to ourselves. We have to listen to ourself and know that we're justified in what we feel. We have to ask ourselves questions, right? We have to get to know ourselves. We have to do things that we love, that feed our soul. And we have to be vulnerable and we have to be real, right? We have to really turn inward to connect. And that strengthens our relationship with ourselves, just like other people. So let's get into this, ladies. So first off, I want to go around and I just want everybody to say, what are your go-to self-love practices? I want to start with Brie um, and come back to a little bit more, like, what is your definition of self-love and, and what are your go-to practices? Um, so my definition of self-love is, well, an all-encompassing love, Um I am a firm believer in the ripple effect and the energies that we put out and that effect was around us. And all of that energy starts from within us um, and really centering ourselves, um, listening to ourselves as Amanda touched on and really coming from a place with every single decision that you come from, whether it be your physical form um, and well-being, your eating habits, your home and your cleaning tactics, um, how you would venture out into the world all comes from a place of love. And when you have love at the core center of all of that, then every decision is fairly simple because you choose the path that serves that higher love. And when you serve that higher love, again, it all just vibrates out and vibrates right back into you and into yourself. And so when you're able to expand that out as simple as like giving a smile to the woman at the coffee shop or, you know, not getting upset when you're stuck in 
bumper to bumper traffic and somebody cuts you off instead, maybe wave and smile at them because clearly they're having a worse day. Right. Mm -hmm. So those decisions though, come from that self-love. And when you have that love for yourself, then you're able to stay within that vibration of love. Um, one of my main go-to practices is getting outdoors and really honing in on the fact, um, of grounding yourself down. Here we are, a human spinning on this big rock, right? And it can be so overwhelming. And at times you can feel so small, um, but then you can also bring it back to the fact that we have a huge impact, right? And so that self-love that you move forward through the world, that impact is what you want to have and what you want to come back to you. So I encourage people to get outside. Myself, when I know when I'm down, um, and I need a little extra pick me up that stepping outdoors, whether it's just a walk in my neighborhood, um, sitting on a park bench and really honing in and tuning into the pause that is within us and then observing everything still functioning and the energy around us, whether it's just simply watching the leaves blow or the clouds float in the sky or listening to the water run in the stream, right? And tuning into those nature cues that really, you know, we don't have control of. There's so much in our lives and in this busy world that we try and control or manipulate or, or um, you know, kind of dictate how it works. What, even with like our physical form and like what we eat, like those can be stressors, right? Of like, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed, I didn't work out today. Oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. Like I ate a hamburger and now I feel bad about myself. Right. And right. so the thing is, is like the nature and the world and that energy out there, it doesn't change and it doesn't go away and we don't control it. Right. We yeah. just hone in on it and we're just part of it. Um, yeah. And I think that that for me, um, and then of course, bringing that nature indoors. So as an interior designer also like having the plants and the crystals and the rocks and then bringing that energy and those little reminders from outside into your home um is also like a big thing and so being able to enjoy that environment no matter where you are and even if you live in the city and people think like oh the city and it's so hustle and bustle and there's no i don't have nature right or i don't have that pause because everything is so go 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 around me that's like right. that nature is everywhere Right. We are nature. We are of nature. I know I always try to remind myself like we are nature. We need to get back to what's real. Right. What we're really where we came from. I love it. Thank you, Brie. And as you said, you just moved. You're like you have too many plants. So <laughs> if we could see a few of them right there. And I'm like, I just want to hope I can keep the one plant that I have alive. Um, <laughs> Amanda, what are some of your go-to practices? And then we'll get to Jennifer too. I want to hear from you ladies too. What are your go-to self-love practices that always get you back to good? Yes. Well, first, Brie, you are the goddess of the trails. I wish you were my neighbor to get me outside. I have big windows looking at nature and I get outside, but I wish I did every day. We should do like some type of accountability thing. Anyhow, um, I would say the very first thing is uh, when I get out of bed, put both of my feet on the earth and I just, I, I send gratitude throughout my body. It's just really quick. Make my, it's my more, my divine morning. And I teach this, it's a divine morning. Make my cup of tea, sit down, light a candle, breathe in and out. I love you. Choose to love yourself today. Even if you don't believe it in that moment, I love you. I think that's a very simple, best practice. And then I lead by example, by letting my children just see me do it. I don't always bring them in, sit with me and do, you know, meditate or breathe with me, but they see it. And then I see them doing it on their own. So we are, um, I would say that's my best self-love practice. And right now I'm getting a weekly massage. So <laughs> third child, I got this. <laughs> that's amazing. I love that too about what you said about your kids too, because I often will say to my three-year-old when he's upset, I'll say, take a deep breath. Come on. And it's hard to, what I say to for his three-year-old mind is I say, let's blow our air out right? Because it's hard to really, he's a slow talker too. So it's hard to really say like, let's take a deep breath in and out. So I just say, let's blow our air out. Let's blow our air out. And a lot of times he wouldn't really do it. Right. But then I caught him when um, his baby sister was upset and he was like, Cece, blow air out. 
And I was like, oh my God, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm raising, I'm raising a beautiful human. Jennifer, what are some of your practices? I can't wait to hear with all of your luscious products. Oh, absolutely. Um, I first want to start with like, what does self-love mean? It really means being present in this moment with yourself, with everything that you do and embrace love. I, I, you know, Brie really hit the nail on the head there. Everything starts at the heart, at the heart chakra. And if you can en just envision, and this is what I do, envision just kind of this, this circle around you of just love and you're radiating love out and love's coming in. That is what really I think love is about. And, and it's really just everywhere you go. And, and when you touch it, it just is contagious and love just spreads. And so that's what self-love is just being in that moment and being present. Um, and I encompass this every day. It is practice. It's religious for me, like all day long, incorporating love. When I feel like something's coming up, I'm like, let's take a deep breath and let's back to love, compassion and kindness and being, um, being nice to yourself and knowing that it's okay to just take that time and, and give, give yourself a moment to have that love. I, we forget all the time. There's moms and we're working and we got all this stuff going on, but you are the center. So being present in every moment is really what I think uh, self-love is about. Um, and how does my routines go to's before I even get out of bed, I start with some type of meditation. Mine, um, it just go, I go with the energy and go with the flow. So sometimes they might be 10 minutes. Sometimes it'll be an hour and a half. I really just, I'm just letting all of the energy move through me and really embrace love before I even get out of bed. And I, um, encompass this light around me. That is this love envelope you can just it's like it could be a protection whatever you want it to be but it really is just a great way to start um, thinking about how you're going to move through every aspect of your life um, I then another favorite go-to is actually with essential um, oil rollers I love them because you can put these anywhere but I like to write on my skin a little message so since we're talking about love I just put love love on there and just hold on to that for a minute and embrace it. And cause what you're doing is you're actually, you're imprinting this on your body and it's like moving through you. And so you put good words in and kindness in, kindness in your mind, and you will have this all day with you in each moment, but just live them in the moment. So you don't have to stress about, oh my gosh, did I do that? Like be present, nothing else. And so that's my go-to, like just to start. But of course, I am a, a big fan of having a warm beverage. I like tea. I'll do a morning elixir. Thank you, Amanda, for introducing those to me. Um, or I'll do a matcha or um, a cacao and embrace another about five minutes, which um, Tracy, you talk about that, the five senses and having that moment with some tea. I really think that's an important way to start your day. And then, um, and then anytime you're feeling stressed or that you need to come back to this, I do it again. Uh, not the whole practice in the morning, but I'll go back to that. Let's just take a few minutes and center it around. And, um, and I just do that throughout the day and bathing and all sorts of other fun stuff and putting the oils and the, um, uh, just lots of fun self-care happen all day long, all the time. Uh, <laughs> but those are my go-to for the morning. I love that. And Jennifer, I have to say, okay, so like you've blown my mind. I've never thought about actually writing a word with my roller bottle. I love roller bottles and I, that like, beautiful. What a great thought and writing it on your wrist and then holding on to it. That is so beautiful. I love that. I'm going to go home and try that. Um, I love what everybody said. I have to put my own two cents, right? So as a chef, I feel like for me, self-love and just self-care, they go hand in hand. And I remember watching um, a, uh, a webinar on Ayurveda and the way he explained it, he said... Um, when we, when we meditate, right, when we take care of ourselves, when we tune into ourself and show ourselves love, we have a better connection with ourself. And it allows us to go out into the world and to make choices from love, compassion, and understanding. And I think that's a really important trifecta of 
choice making, right? Because it's the love, right? Which means that it has pure intent. There's the compassion, which means we're being kind to ourselves, right? This isn't like a, a guilty thing. This isn't a punishment thing, right? This is, this is a good, kind thing. But also there's understanding because we are also unique and we all need unique things. And we are the only person who can truly find what that is. And that's why I always like to say, become your own healer, right? We can be our first line of defense against so many different things. Yes, disease, but also anxiety and depression, right? I love everything you said. And so for me as a chef, it's like, that's why I always say every meal is an opportunity. Every meal is an opportunity to do something good for yourself, whether you're just plainly nourishing your body, whether you're healing your body, right? Because you're choosing a certain kind of tea or a certain kind of herb that you know is going to balance and bring harmony to your body. Um, or you might possibly be um, using the food as an opportunity to connect with other people, right? By sitting around the table and enjoying that food together or going to the grocery store with your kids and having them pick out, you know, a fruit that they've never eaten before. Um, there's just so many ways that we can connect with ourselves through food. And I feel like if we have to eat every day, all day, then we might as well embrace our diet, right? Now, I want to go around real quick because we this show moves so fast, right, ladies? We're already like halfway, more than halfway through. But I want to point out that all four of us have a very strong history in doing these type of things, right? We're not new to this. I want us to talk to the person who's never done self-care, okay? I want us to talk to that person who's like, I have anxiety or I, I don't have a lot of self-confidence. I, I have a lot of guilt or shame or trauma in my past and I am not doing well, but I want to get well. Let's talk to that person. Now, if I were to talk to that person, what I, and this, this is something that I'm a big proponent of, um, adding things into your life one day at a time, right? Which is why, real quick, I want to do these cards. I want to introduce these cards, okay, because we didn't do this. This is a new ritual I want to start on the show, and we're going to pick a card every time we start. And these particular cards are Ayurvedic cards. They come from... Um, Eric, Karen, and Tatiana Beatrix. Maybe we can get them on the show. <gasps> Could you imagine? All you got to do it ask, is ask, right? They might want to be. I've got your stuff on my show. So I ordered these. Decks are like the latest craze, right? Because it's tangible. We can just like take things in one card at a time. So these are my Ayurvedic cards. And they just go over all different areas of wisdom and how they help promote a happy life, right? So if you're one of these people, right, going, I don't know where to start, maybe just get yourself a deck. You can do, um, there's a, a beautiful deck called The Universe Has Your Back. I learned, them from, learned about those from Amanda and Bree when I attended their retreat. Um, I have some that are like an herb, herbal deck, and so I get to learn about different herbs every day. This is Ayurveda. So I always like to set my, my, my deck down, and I cut it, and I put one to the left, and I say I honor the past, and I put one side to the other. I have my deck, I put one here and I put one here and I honor the past and I honor the future and I go back to the middle pile and I say, come into the now. And then I turn the card over and today, look at this, essential aromas. I think we already touched on that. So then you go to your, your book and you go through and you try to find essential, oil, um, essential aroma and then you read about that. So while I'm looking for that, Brie, can you talk a little bit to that person, right? That person that's really new to self-care. What's your go-to for them? What, what would you say to, is something that they can start focusing on that's a little bit more digestible? Because we've just thrown so much at people. Yeah, it really is a lot, you know. And, and like you said, Tracy, we've, we've been practicing for a while and our practices had to start somewhere, right? And um, <clears throat> sometimes they usually start when you're at the bottom, and um, really looking. And so I would say what you said, you know, one day at a time, but even more so than that, it's, it's literally one moment at a time. It's one flash of life and um, the energy that is within. And, and um, I think cr creating that morning ritual as Amanda and Jennifer um, touched on, you know, that first, those first moments and, and waking up with thoughts of gratitude and um, very much so, you know, that we live in a world of not enough 
And so when you have those moments of, I didn't have enough sleep, right? From the minute you wake up, just change that thought. So the first steps are just acknowledging um, the, you know, maybe the, the downplay or the negative energy that might be encompassing you. And when you acknowledge that, then you can change it. If you can't acknowledge it, then you can't make the progress to step forward. So when you wake up and you say you didn't have enough sleep, change it. You did have enough sleep. You had enough because you're awake mm -hmm. and the day is starting, right? Um, and just getting into that moment of gratitude, um, I think is really important. As Jennifer said, just taking those one minute, five minutes, hour, whatever you have, and coming from a place of gratitude and writing down if a list so that in those moments of doubt or fear, um, you can go back to that tangible list, like the mm -hmm. cards, mm -hmm. right? So literally write down, take some time this week to write down your list of things that you are grateful for. And it can be as simple as like, I'm grateful for the pillow on my couch, or mm -hmm. I'm grateful for my mom or whatever it might be for that day. But I think that's a really core good place to start because then grat like so much love stems from gratitude and the gratitude brings you into perspective. And in those individual moments is uh, like I said, that you can go back to that list. Even if you put little post-it notes, right? On your mirror or something. That's so funny you say this. So because I, that's one thing I always tell people to do at night, like a nighttime ritual, just write down five things, but write them in the same place. Because then, like you say, you get to go back and you get to remember all of these days and all of the little individual gifts that you had at different times. Um, let me read this real quick because I did find essentially Romas. This is what they say about that. Everything we inhale goes directly to our brains, including the smells around us. Sense impact, stress levels, breathing, heart rate, emotions, memories, and more. Notice what scents are prominent in your environment and adjust them to bring harmonious balance. A great way to adjust scents is through essential, oil, essential oils, through baths, diffusers, spritzers, and abiyanga, which is self-massage. These tools are perfect for enhancing and switching up the vibe of any scenario. Essential oils can bring focus to your studies, grounding in social settings, and uplift your energy when you're feeling down. Choose a way that calls to you and notice the effects it has on your mood. You can shift the environment through a diffuser. Depending on your mood, if it's hot outside, you want to feel light. Lemongrass and rosemary are great. If it's cold outside and you want to get warm, cinnamon, orange, and clove are great. Allow yourself to be creative and playful. Playful practice. Make a spritzer to have bliss on the go. Grab a four-ounce spray bottle, three ounces of distilled water, and a few favorite air, uh, essential oils. And enjoy. I love that. See, so what a great little practice. You just get one little card, and it's a one little piece of advice for going through your day. And I just happen, if you are one of these people sitting there going, I'm very new to self-love, I got you covered this month because on February 18th, I am running a promotional program called 10 Days to Self-Love, and every day is going to be one practice that you can try, right? It might be um, a five senses tea break, right? It might be going to bed and writing down five things. That's part of it. So um, I'm going to give you some more information at the end of it, but real quick, Jennifer, what can you say to somebody who's really new to self-care? What's kind of like, I'm going to ask you real quick to answer quickly because we need to get talking about what we're offering in March, but... Quickly, what's a real go-to before I have Amanda tell us about our spring amazing program? Um, the first go-to is to know that you are enough. And to start there, Brie really touched on it, acknowledging the thoughts that are going through you and running through you and, um, and embracing those for a moment, letting them be, and then letting them go and releasing them back because you no longer need that energy and, you, and it no longer serves you. And so for somebody who is just starting, I feel a lot of times they don't feel like they deserve this, but you do. And so you do deserve this. And, and so start there, start just with that self-care and that self-love and, and, and just know that embrace yourself with a hug, a physical hug and, and know that you are divine and you belong here and you belong in this moment and you deserve every ounce of love that is in this world. There is not, you can't take too much. There's all infinite love 
and you deserve it too. And so I think for somebody who's just starting, that's where I would start. You be here, you deserve it and you get to be here. You are worthy. So now ladies, so if you're listening, I mean, you've heard all these women talk about their beautiful perspective on things and all of their gifts that they have to share. Amanda, I want you to give everybody an idea of what is being offered this spring, March. Tell us about it. Yes, I am so excited. Every spring I do an Ayurvedic spring cleanse, but we all need a retreat right now. So we're going into an Ayurvedic spring cleanse retreat. And the theme is all about the self-love goddess. So we're all going to be gathering virtually and moving through mantra, meditation, yoga, our favorite self-love practices, but it's going to be guided. You're going to get this beautiful, delicious, luxurious box of Jennifer's beautiful oils, oils that she puts Reiki into and um, uh, salt crystal bath like this whole beautiful thing. And Brie is going to be putting together this beautiful crystal package for you. Um, and Tracy is going to be guiding us through nourishing our temple and the foods that we will all consume into our bodies together throughout the weekend. So it is a cleanse, but we are eating and we are nourishing in the best way possible. Um, we're going to be going through some music and some ecstatic dance, which will be so amazing to raise our vibrations. We're also going to be hiking. So whether it's your own self hike, we'll be providing some trails for you. Or if you're in the Washington, Oregon, or the California area, um, we can meet up and hike together as well. Um, so we're so excited. It's March 20th through the 26th. And um, this is our self-care, you guys, our self-love. Take those three days to yourself. It's a few hours each day. Saturday's a little bit bigger. Um, Baby. And, <laughs> um, and, and mark, the, mark your calendar for it. When I did it a few months back, oh my gosh, my hormones were crazy. I was going through some stuff, aren't we always? But ever since then, I've had this divine grace and calmness that I kind of transitioned from like the hormones of baby and then going into this next phase. So take the time for yourself. I promise you the three days of commitment of this cleanse and this time with all four of us, all four of us are leading you through this divine love goddess retreat. Okay, you guys, please join us. I'm so excited. One thing I want to just say, Put a picture somewhere that brings you joy and experience and memory or make an entire, um, what is that called? The collage vision board. Yeah, that's that for the person starting out. A lot of people have been coming to me lately and saying, I can't do it. I only got through day one of six. I haven't been eight, or one and a half days or I, I'm doing this, but I'm getting down on myself. My husband or my partner or somebody is, is making fun of my practices, you know, like guys, struggle is real. I mean, just follow. If, if it's calling to you, if it's coming to you, let it move through you. Let us guide you. Find that you are your own guru, but let us help you get there. Get that picture, collage, vision board. I love it. And that's what's so great about the box, right? Because sometimes signing up for something like a, a retreat, especially an at-home retreat, it's like, now I'm not going to be there. I'm going to have to do this, really have to be more accountable and bringing this every day and following along. But that's why you're going to get the box because then you're going to get things in your hand. You're going to have the spice mix. You're going to have the tea. You're not going to have to go, you know, worry about, you know, sourcing random goods. Like we're going to get you covered. It's going to be there. And the things in the box are going to guide you through those days. So we're really excited to put this together. We were so excited to come and tell you all about it today. Please go. Um, we can check out ConsciousCulinary.org, of course, for information. Um, Amanda, your website or where they might be able to find some more information? Yeah, livewellness.com, L-Y-V wellness.com. Um, and it will be up really soon. As soon as all the details are worked out later this week, um, you will be able to go on and sign up and, and join us. Oh, I and I'm sure we'll, we'll have a link so every lady can send it on their website too. Okay. 
And then real quickly, is there anywhere, anything you would like to share, Brie or Jen, as far as where people can find you and your products? Yes. So I've got um, a breezy journey.com and I'm very active on my Instagram, um, a dot breezy dot journey. Um, also going through self love practices all month long of February. So be sure to check in and follow along. Thanks Tracy. Yeah. And you can find uh, my beautiful products at dv spa.com. So that's D E V I dash spa.com. You can follow me on Instagram at DV underscore divine light. Um, there I just kind of bring um, really inspiring um, quotes or a lot of crystals and a lot of energy for you to just kind of get into your day, get into that moment. So that will get you started. And I'm so excited to share um, literally the divine sense and the oils and the abhyanga, which is more than just you know, putting oil on your body, it's literally anointing yourself. Like how powerful is that, right? Like true love. So I'm so excited for this journey with everybody. I can't wait for um, everyone to dive into the Ayurveda spring cleanse. Excellent. Thank you, ladies. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm so excited to move through these next few months and offer these beautiful practices. And I just want to say one more thing to everybody listening. Remember, you can create a beautiful life simply by putting intention into your routine. When you add intention, you take a routine from a habit to a practice to a ritual right? It's the intention that creates the ritual. So as Amanda has said before, and I always think about this, make your life art, make art with your life. So good luck with this, everybody. And um, remember, you're worth it. You're worthy. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.